The math is not mathing at all. Happy Thursday, Thursday. Happy Tuesday, March 8th. It's 5.33 p.m. I've just kind of wrapped up my work day, um, but I wanted to hop on here and vlog for you guys. I had kind of a rough day at work, so um, I want this evening to be super good vibes, super chill. Um, I'm gonna head up to the jacuzzi first and probably read up there, and then I'm gonna come down here and make myself a cocktail and literally just vibe out. I have a bunch of packages I need to open, so I'll show you guys that, um, and then we'll just catch up and talk, and it'll be a good time. Okay, here's the bikini. It's from Target. I have it in purple also, and I know they make it in white. I'm obsessed with it. Just got back from the jacuzzi. Very chill, beautiful, loving vibes. Alrighty, I just finished self tanning. Um, to do the self tanner, I used the I used the Isle of Paradise self tanning drops with the Drunk Elephant body lotion. Um, I just put a little bit of this in my hand and then I put like two drops of this, mix it together and then I'll do like one leg, same on the other leg, one arm, same on the other arm, and then I'll do like my chest to my stomach and then I'll try my best to, to do my back. Um, so that's what I did. It's just a little bit easier than using like the foam or the spray. So right now I'm going to put a load of laundry in the washer and then I'm going to head to Trader Joe's. It's just going to be a super quick trip um, because I'm going out of town this weekend. So I just have to get food for Wednesday, Thursday. That's it. I just have to get food for Wednesday and Thursday. about everything I got so I'm gonna show you I'm gonna do a little haul haul okay I got the bag cedar salad yummers I got two boxes of almond milk um, which I like to keep on hand for like smoothies um, and then I got pasta sauce like I said this is just the marinara sauce in a jar so the basic I got organic flaxseed meal um, also for smoothies I got the chicken and veggie pot stickers. I will never get sick of these. And they've never failed me once. Okay, then I got my favorite bread, the French loaf. I got six eggs, just a little guy. I got this pack of pita and hummus. I got two packs of the fruit and cheese pack. Yum. Okay, I got the chicken and four cheese ravioli. I got some fruit for breakfast. This salad, broccoli slaw and kale salad with white meat chicken and the spicy vinaigrette. I literally could eat this every day for the rest of my life. Okay, so that was everything I got. I'm going to make my cocktail now. I'm gonna make an espresso martini and then I am going to cook my pasta while wow, we do that. Okay, let me let me just put all this sh away. This salt is the best. 
Okay, so while that's boiling, I'm gonna make my espresso martini. So let me get the ingredients. There's only three things we need. Okay, so we've got all our ingredients. None of them are cold. So we'll start with some ice. Lots of ice. And then we're gonna shake. Always shake more than you think. Um, and one thing I will say is it's gonna get really cold really fast. Also, this mix is amazing because it creates the most like beautiful foam. You guys will see it in this second, but the more you shake, the better the foam. Martini. I love this glass. Cheers to turning around bad work days into really nice nights. That is so freaking good. Oh my god. I'm with that. It's hot. That water is boiling. I gotta take this off. I take this off. I'm with your down with no ID. 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 Okay, I need to rant for a second here because I just I have something to say that's been on my mind. And that is this. I was thinking, I was thinking to myself, hey self, should we finish the Euphoria season? Because I've watched all the episodes, but I haven't seen the season finale. And I thought to myself, like, I don't even I don't even have a desire in me to finish this season. Like I really don't feel like it was as good as season one. The math is not mathing at all. Nothing, nothing is like feeling complete. These plot lines are being started and they're never being like closed. Like the loops are never being closed. The only good thing about the season was like Maddie being a bad bitch and like Nothing else. Like, there was literally no closure on anything. I mean, I, I haven't watched the last episode, but I'm just assuming that there's there's just nothing that's happened. It's like, I feel like we're starting all these different plot lines, and there's conflicts, and there's, like, problems that are definitely going to have consequences, but we're not getting any resolution. Like, we're not getting... We don't get to know what happens with the Rue suitcase. We don't get to know what happens with, like... Like, how come there was no, like more confrontation between Maddie and Cassie. Nate has literally no redeeming qualities. Actually, the best part of the season was probably Fez and Lexi's relationship developing. And even then, it was like we didn't get enough of it. Like, too much plots were started and none of them were finished. And now I'm like, dude, I have to wait until like 2024 to get some resolution on, on, on these plot lines that are started in 2022. I'm gonna be damn near 30 years old worrying about these fictional teenagers we shouldn't be getting into themselves into any of these messes. Comment down below if the math is mathing for you, because it's not mathing for me, okay? I do kind of regret making this only a little, and that's only because it has caffeine in it. <laughs> When was this? Right after New Year's. <sighs> you dumb fucking bitch! I'm gonna go. fuck you! Dude, I feel like I have Maddie vibes.
martini is him. Staying good, I'm not mad about it. I'm watching the Keeping Up With The Kardashians. The Keeping Up With The Kardashians? Oh my god, why did I put in the in there? I am watching Keeping Up With The Kardashians. Old, old, old episodes, like season 10 and 11, um, because their new Hulu show, it doesn't come out until April, and I just can't wait that long, so I just literally rewatch old episodes, and it's just so funny to see this stuff play out again. Side note, you guys, my neighbor just DM'd me, and like, <laughs> can't even explain to you why this is funny. What the hell is going on? Bro. <laughs> haul for you, an unboxing haul for you, um, but I kind of need to also make this into a TikTok, so I think I'm going to do a couple shots while we talk. Oh shit, okay, okay, that one, that one was not sealed very well, alright, I did not open that. Also, that's the one that I didn't cross out the address on, these other ones I already got. Okay, I'm gonna do one of those shots where it's like... First one's gonna be the box, obviously. And I forgot what I ordered, so this is gonna be kind of fun. Okay, so this is a cookbook. It is That Sounds So Good by Carla Lolly Music. 100 Real Life Recipes for Every Day of the Week. I just love that this is bright orange. I just feel like this is gonna look really good on the kitchen table. Oh, okay, so I really needed this because we don't have a lemon juicer. And I, I know everyone gets the kind that's like, smush, like you like smush it. I didn't want that. Okay, so it's just a crystal, it's literally just a crystal citrus juicer. What the hell is this? Oh, okay, this is a... This is so funny. I, did, I had no idea what this was. Um, this is a shower wine glass holder. Okay, so you basically put the suctions on here, and then you stick it to the shower, and then your glass just kind of fits in there. I just thought that was so cute. I don't even drink wine that much. <laughs> this was already kind of open. It's just a pack of candlesticks. Interesting. And they're not like white. I thought they were going to be white. They're like... Uh, they're like kind of just like a foggy, clear color. <laughs> okay, so I got these fake hydrangeas that I saw also on TikTok. They actually don't look bad. Those look kind of good. And that looks intense. I mean, it's it's beautiful. But like, I don't know if I have the right base for this, so. Well, they're basically candlesticks. So we have a candlestick and then we have, you know, a candle like this and you just put it in there and you got, this is big. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, let me finish my TikTok. So I think this is where I'm going to end the vlog then. Um, so thank you so much for watching, you guys. I honestly, I feel so much better. I really did have a rough day at work. Corporate life can get to you very easily, easily after a while. And I I didn't think I would turn it around like this. Um, I'm, I'm in such a good mood. I'm going to edit these vlogs and then enjoy my show and go to sleep. Bye!